Hello my crafty friends, Michelle here again. I know I'm like 30 videos this week, what's up? Um, so I thought I would bring the video of my album that I took the class on um, and we would talk about it. The collection it uses is Noscalia from Authentique. It was the 2018 Christmas collection. And as you can see, here are these beautiful Christmas cut aparts that I just haven't put in there yet. So, um, this was an album created by Ginger Rob from My Sister Scrapper. So this is not an idea of mine. And I did take a class at Creative Chaos, which is a scrapbook store near me. If you're interested, if you type in Creative Chaos on Facebook, you'll find them. So let's get in, pardon me, to this album. So this is a graphic 45, 8 by 6 by 3 album. So it's eight inches by six inches by three inches of the spine with the two center pieces taken out of it. And like I said, this is mostly um, authentic and I don't know where some of this stuff comes from because like I said, I took the class, but I thought I'd show you this album. Um, here is a bow that is made with beautiful crinkle ribbon and some jingle bells. And obviously there's a doily that I cut in half for the album. The spine is covered in a pretty red paper with some of the stickers, with a sticker on it. And then here is the back, covered in a beautiful wallpaper with Santa and his reindeer on the back. So, then who doesn't love Santa and some puppies and kittens? It's so cute. So let's get started. So obviously here on the front cover, and everything I use, every, everything is inked with um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Walnut Stain. That is my preferred method to, that is my preferred ink when I'm, I'm antiquing something. So this again is one of the cut aparts from the collection, more of the stickers. On this first page is the first flip out. And as you can see, there are magnets. The magnets we used are these from Basic Gray. They're great. So when you flip it open, it has two brown spots. And then this is again, part of that collection. And magnets right back down. And then obviously um, every page is covered with paper from that collection. Even the tags have paper from that collection. So, and then if you look here, there's Santa and a reindeer. This is the cut aparts that I have left. Um, so I have quite a few left that I haven't put into the album yet. Obviously, I, I'm determining where I want them to go. I'm not finished with this album, but I wanted to show you what I've done. So those are all the cut aparts that belong with this album. And that's one of the stickers. Here is another flip out. So this is, again, using the magnets that I showed you from Basic Gray. Um, it flips open like so and is antiqued with the um with the walnut stain and is white more of this beautiful paper the tag black on the back i haven't cut paper to cover the backs yet so um which to cut the paper to go on the tags you need this die here this is their regular size tag Let's get back into this beautiful album. Um, and there, there are two pockets. So there's one pocket here and one pocket here. So you could add your own. And then the nice thing is, is in between each page, there's a pocket. And I haven't created the pullouts for in there yet. And this page, sorry, I was going to turn it, but it's just not going to look right. Um, this page is um, has a double waterfall. Um, these albums, the 8 by 6 by 3 have six sections, and we remove, for the class, we remove the center too. So we use this piece to cut it, to cover the holes. Um, but this is a waterfall that is covered, and as you can see, every piece is covered. I cover the backs. Um, this is from this year's Authentic Collection, which is called uh, Rejoice. Um, this is from the Cookie line. Um, I bought several pieces of it, and I wanted to use it in this album. 
to uh, kind of cover and to add. Not all of this is authentic paper, but um, the um, Angela who runs um, Creative Chaos picked out papers that she thought matched and looked good with the collection. Um, so, and then on the other side, there's a matching flip out with the same colors. The only difference is, is here, it's just the really beautiful 1950s reindeer. And then obviously the reindeer here and then the Santa here where I um, cut around his beard. And then the this piece is obviously from the collection. And there's more again. Here's another pretty tag. And another pocket. I really love this stamp paper. I don't know why. Probably because it's got beagles on it. And then here are your last two flip outs. This one over here has Scotty dogs and again is covered in white. This one here again has kittens. There's that beautiful stamp paper with the beagle. I love beagles. Um, and then here is the last page and this is from I believe the photo play collection for this year. And then um, we created a pocket using black paper on the back. And then let me move that album out of the way. And then this flips open completely and lays out. So you have a full piece that is for photo mounts. And it just folds accordion shut like that and sits in that back pocket. There is this, again, this is um, an album class I took. It is not finished. I'm going to embellish it up some more, um, put family photos in it, but I wanted to share a quick video with you. I will see you guys again soon and thank you for watching. Happy crafting.